Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna share with you some of the items that I picked up while thrifting over the past two weeks. This is a collective haul because um, once I find stuff, I literally will bring it in, hang it up, and try to get to it, to prep it, make sure everything is how it needs to be before I take pictures and bag it and store it. Um, but I'm always so busy that I can only do this on a certain day so today is sunday and i was getting ready to take pictures of these items so that through the next week or so that i can post them in my poshmark closet but i figured why not show you guys what i picked up that will be coming up in my closet so without further ado let's jump into this thrift haul So one of the things that I do like to find in thrift stores or while out at boutiques is shoes. I love to find shoes. So I did pick up these. These are by The Sack and they are like some knitted or crochet type design or whatever. And they are pretty much, they look like they were only worn like maybe once or, or maybe not even. I don't know. Sometimes the shoe just gets dirty um wow you know being stored away by the stores or whatever but they're in excellent condition and these are by the sack oh and they are these are a size 10. another shoe that i picked up was these sorrel like rain boots i love sorrel brand it's really really nice um it is leather these are used of course but they are in excellent condition the only thing that i saw that may have been like you know wear and tear was this has the logo on the back this one does too but this one is a little worn off um from wearing and then they do have a little bit of scuff marks but these are leather and so and this is a really comfortable nice brand of shoe so when i saw these i definitely wanted to pick them up and these are a nine and a half uh just a quick tip about me with shoes is i try my hardest not to find shoes that are small like fives and sixes or anything under than that i do have a couple that i've purchased in the past but they don't sell as fast for me i like to find shoes that are from size seven on up to even like an 11 so yeah and i have two more shoes before we jump into the clothes these are by uh born i really like the born style shoe because they are really really comfortable nicely nicely made these look like that and i like that the bottom actually looks like it's made out of wood even though it's not that's just how they do that and it does have the little logo on the side and these are like new like brand new and they're really really cute they are leather what size was these oh these are a seven and a half so i picked these up oh i picked these up and i really like the stitching around the side they are really hand they look handcrafted i really really like these so yeah i got these too and the last shoe before we jump into the clothing were these uh, gentle soles by kenneth cole and i like the back of them that has that um tread up the back like that and these are definitely brand new never been worn and they're just some silver like loafers and these are really fashionable and you know i think these will be super cute to wear around like this season fall christmas with your little nice sparkly clothing for christmas or whatever i just think these are cute i wish i could actually fit these i would keep them they are leather and they are a size eight okay so now we'll jump into the clothing real quick and let me just say this because i was asked um i can't remember the exact question but uh what i like to do when i'm looking for stuff to source on poshmark is at first when i first started and i have not been selling on poshmark for too long so i am not a professional but however i feel like i know what i'm doing and i'm going off of what works for me in the beginning i did start off by kind of going looking for name brands and that was kind of what i was doing i failed at that because even though i was picking up name brands the style of it was not that cute so they was just sitting in my closet and so i was like okay we can't do that so now what i'd like to do is i still look for name brands however i will pick up a piece that may just be cute 
but not really name brand but if the style of it and the pattern on it is really cute then i'll just pick it up however i still like to look for name brand clothing but now i pretty much pick up things that i would actually like to wear myself or that i would think that somebody else would like so i normally do not pick up too many plain pieces because plain clothing is just so hard I mean so easy to find i like to pick up stuff that may be different that you may not see on a regular at a store or something like that so with that being said let me show you the clothing that i picked up this is by ak america and i want to say this is this may be a little vintage i'm not familiar with this brand this is the first time that i picked up the ak like that or is it jk i'm sorry jk because ak would have been like ann klein but this is JK and I've never seen this, but it says that it is 52% mohair. And so I thought this was nice. It does have some shoulder pads in there. Those could be taken out, but I do love the style of this oversized and it's really big, this oversized sweater. And I love the pattern on it um, and the colors and everything. The back is just, <clears throat> the back is playing like that. So you get the pattern mainly on the front. And it's really big and oversized and i just think it looks really cute and it's super comfortable honestly i haven't tried that on i might keep it i'm not too sure yet but i did pick that up here is a piece by sag harbor and it is like a cardi or i don't know what you want to call this it's like a blazer uh it just has the button up front i thought it was really cute i like this plum color and it has these like studded details around the neck and around the back at the top it is in excellent condition it's like brand new i like to pick up items that are like new um i don't like to take a lot of time to get stains out and look you know ma i make sure there's no holes rips tears and all of that but i try to really find stuff that I don't have to do too much to it um, besides maybe steam it or whatever else just something minimal I don't like to do a lot <laughs> because I don't have time so this is really really cute this is actually I think this will only be my second time picking up a Sag Harbor piece um, <clears throat> it is a nice brand but however this is one of the items that I just picked up because of the way it looked also because it is fall i've been picking up a lot of sweaters blazers boots you know like weather like cold weather uh, co uh clothing excuse me cold weather clothing so that is what you'll probably be seeing a lot in my closet so i picked up this and it is um like a cardigan and i thought it was really cute the arms look like this so it's a separate material the body part is a lot thicker and it has that drape in the front so it kind of falls like asymmetrical down the front and it's really really cute and it has you know like the little i don't want to say lint balls but it's really really cute and this is by lucky lucky lotus you guys is that focused it's by lucky lotus which is a lucky brand um a lucky brand <laughs> it is a size large and it says softest knitwear and i really really like this it does have two pockets on the side and the front and so that will also be in my closet and in case you're wondering if this is your first time watching one of my thrifting videos i don't tell the price of the clothing because um i just don't like to get i just don't I was going to explain all of that, but I, I just don't. I don't tell the price of what I pay for it. But just know that California's thrift stores are, I think, one of the highest states that, you know, we have high prices in California. It's crazy. I mean, like, I see other people, and I talk about it before, I see other people in other states, they'll thrift something like this right here and be like, oh, I paid $2 for it. I'm like, what? I need to get on a plane. If I'm going to be thrifting like this and reselling, I need to get on a plane and get my butt to another state because our prices out here are ridiculously crazy. Um, so yeah, I don't really tell the prices, but I do like to keep my prices close to what I paid for in my closet with a little bit extra. So hopefully, um, you guys understand that because sometimes I get offers where it's like really, really low. I'm like, hold on. I paid. That's the price I paid for the item. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, this next piece is an anthropology brand and it is, um, the Maeve brand and i don't know if some of you guys say mauve or mave whatever it is 
um, but this dress was really cute and it looks brand new and even though this is not fall um, like a fall dress I think it could be I think if you put this on with a jean jacket or something like that or even a long cardigan I think this would be cute uh so it has like this tie-dye effect towards the bottom and what i really liked is that the little belt that it comes with has some little tassels so you get these cute little tassels and it has some beads come on focus sorry you guys this my camera is acting crazy before i started recording this i actually dropped it <sighs> i was so sad <laughs> So I don't know the settings might have got messed up, but yeah, it has this tassel on it and it's a really long dress And I think it's really cute This next dress is one of my favorite pieces that I found and I love it because of the colors It is a LuLaRoe one of her, the um, I'm not I'm not a pro at the LuLaRoe brand either as far as trying to tell you exactly the names of it I do know what they are when I'm posting them because I have like a reference sheet that I go through to know exactly the style of the item and what it what it is. But I know this is like from the elegant, like an elegant line from them or something. Because it has this little sparkle in the name or whatever. But this is a very cute dress. It is black and it has the purple and gold. Those are my two favorite colors. And so it looks like this. And these dresses um, are really stretchy. This is a size large. So the top looks like that. And then the bottom has all of these gold foil style um, flowers in purple, blue, and gold. Is that blue? Yeah, blue. And it does have the gold zipper up the back. And so this will be added in my closet. And when I found that, I was just like, oh my goodness, that is so pretty. I think I actually can fit it because their sizes run like it says it's a large but to me it fits like an extra large i'm not sure and then plus it has stretch to it so i don't know i haven't tried that on either i do have another lularoe dress that is a large but a different style that i can fit and it fits perfect but that style um i think the what is the difference is it the amanda the nicole whatever them names is different styles fit a little different but i haven't tried that one on so we will see if you don't see it in my closet it's because i kept it <laughs> here's another lularoe piece and it's just one of these uh high low shirts it has the the front is kind of high and then the back hangs low and i just picked this up because i thought the pattern and the colors of the birds was really really cute and it looks like it is new uh without tags here is a uh, shirt by Flax, which looks like that. And uh, it is 100% linen. I like linen clothing. Uh, I think it's really nice. And it's just a regular uh, plain type of shirt. But because it is linen and because it was by Flax, I went ahead and picked it up. And yeah, I just thought this was cute. And this is a medium. One of my favorite brands to find is Free People. My Free People stuff usually sells pretty fast. Uh, the last time I had a, I had just found a sweater and I put it in there and it sold pretty fast. And the crazy thing about it was when I picked up that sweater, I picked it up. That was one of the pieces that I picked up for the name. And I didn't really like the sweater, but it's so surprisingly it sold pretty fast. So I was like, hey. <laughs> But most of my free people stuff sell fast. So when I saw this, I thought it was cute. This is perfect for fall. That cute little pocket right there in the front. And I love that the sleeves are really, really long. As you can see, you can fold those up. That's really cute. Or you can keep it covering your hand, however you like. And the back is just like that. The same as the front. Um, so yes, that is a free people piece that I picked up. And it is an extra small. But I'm telling you, if you're a small, maybe even a, a petite medium, you definitely can fit this. Some more free people items that I picked up and there is two of them. I just have them hanging up together. It is the bralettes by Intimately Free People. And they look like this and they're like these lace bralettes. And like I said, there is two. It's the uh, nude color one and then the gray one that I found. And I think these are really cute. These are both a size small. This piece right here was definitely preference for myself. <laughs> because it is the sequins and it is the purple and the blues and the silvers and i think that is beautiful i love it i love it love it love it and i'm not familiar with the lovers and friends brand this is a size extra small 
um i'm not familiar with that brand but whenever i see something like this that will be super cute with some jeans or what or a skirt or whatever you want to wear this with like for new year's or you know around christmas or even just going out at night on date night or clubbing or whatever i just think the sequins still is cute i know it was really big in the past it kind of went away but now it's back in full demand <laughs> so you know those colors caught my eye so i had to get that here is another piece that I picked up um, just solely because I thought it was cute. And the last couple vintage pieces that I found and put in my closet, they sold pretty fast. So uh, I don't pick up all vintage because I see a lot of it. But it just really has to catch my eye and be kind of unique. Um, that's what I'm about with my closet. I try to find stuff that is different and unique. Uh, this is by Classics. It is a small, but however, if you're a medium, I think you can fit this. And this is a heavy sweater. I don't want to say heavy and scare anybody off, but it has some weight to it. And it does have shoulder pads, but look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that artwork on that. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. And it also goes down the arm. This shirt is heavy. <laughs> so you have the different colors down the arm, down the back. But look at how vibrant. Oh, I just love looking at this. <laughs> I wish I could fit it. Um, but it is different because it has the big, you know, whatever these are called. I don't want to call them beads or sequins. But there's some kind of, you know, flat bead. And then you have this beading right here like this. So this shirt is like amazing you talk about a statement piece that is definitely what this is and the collar is kind of um not turtleneck but it does come up the neck a little bit so it's not like a scoop it's not like a rounded yeah so yeah i love this shirt you guys when i seen it i was like oh honey yes and um it wasn't that cheap <laughs> but I feel like I took a gamble. I'm I'm taking a gamble with that shirt. With this one, I'm taking a gamble. So hopefully somebody will snag it and love it just as much as I love it. Next is this uh, little uh, cardigan by Chico's. And I only picked it up because it's this cute green. Uh, perfect for uh, fall right now. And nothing special about it. Very, very comfortable nicely um, in excellent condition it is a size two in the chico's brand and i do like chico's the last couple pieces that i have by chico's so pretty fast and so it's just a basic little zip up little sweater with a hood so i picked that up okay let me speed this up um here's another lula row dress and this one is a size large i like this pattern the crazy thing is is i do see a lot of lula row and it's just one of those dresses it's kind of like a fit and flare around the waist uh again i forgot the name of this style but you'll see it in my closet uh and it does have the zipper up the back in excellent condition like it's never been worn i like the pattern on this really really cute and i, I see a lot of lularoe while thrifting a lot of it i do not pick up um but some of it i do pick up it just depends on how i'm feeling at that moment and if i like the actual design on it um and i like that that dress was kind of textured so i picked it up what i noticed about pink and this is a pink brand like victoria's secrets um what i've noticed about them is whenever i pick up their uh sports type of clothing like this this is the patriots whenever i find anything like this this is like a jersey it sells pretty fast so i had a jacket on our was it the green bay packers that sold fast i had two people bit like trying to get me to yeah two people was bidding on that jacket so um i noticed that that stuff sells pretty good and it says patriots on the back and it's just like a little jersey or whatever and so that is a size large so i grabbed that i do like t-shirts by lucky brand or this is more of like a thicker shirt though this is by triumph and it says designed by lucky brand on the inside so this is a lucky brand and it has that on the front and i like the blue denim like look to it with the faded triumph on the front and then the back says a bunch of stuff like that and my last couple lucky t-shirts or whatever so pretty good so hopefully this one will too and this one is a size large two more lula row pieces this is a medium right here and it's just an open front cardigan or kimono i should say 
and it's just flowy nothing spectacular it just has that kind of look to it that's the pattern i mean or the color and it's just open front and it just flows and it's really nice and like i said that was a medium and then the last lularoe piece that i uh, picked up for this thrift haul was this one in an extra large and it's a kind of form-fitting style dress and it goes really really long so this would be like by your calves and this is an extra large and i picked it up because it screams fall to me and i really like that pattern on that the design it would be cute to be paired with like a cardigan with some boots or something like that so that was it for my lularoe pieces now let me show you the last four pieces and we'll be done I'm also into picking up like chunky sweaters and stuff like that just because of the weather. This is by Calvin Klein and it's just a basic chunky black or you might want to say black and white. It looks a little gray. It's just your basic sweater and I like that it has this like you can't see it because it's on it's like on it um, but it's like a diagonal type thread. I mean um, crochet thing right here. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, and then the sleeves are long and I just like that and it is uh, What size was this? This was a size large or extra large. I have it written down the tag that I took off of it Oh, no. I believe this is a size large I have to do some measurements on it because the tag was taken off as far as the size of it But it looks like a large to me Here's another chunky sweater by Zara Knit. It says Zara Knit right there. And it's a like a green and uh, cream color sweater. And it just looks like that. And what I like about this is, let me see if I can show you. It looks like that. It kind of has the V-neck in the front. But in the back, it has this lace design down the middle. And the back is a little bit, usually the front is higher and the back is longer the back is is a little um the back is a little bit shorter than the front and it has this weird little cutout right here and i thought that was cute um yeah so it looks like that and then you also have that design down the arm this lace right here all the way down the arm of it and so yeah i thought that was cute as well and this is a size large and last but not least, this is the first time that I am finding or picking up one of these brands, which is St. James. And it looks like that. That's a St. James piece, and it says made in France since 1889. And it's a really oversized, chunky um, cardigan, and it has the gold buttons. And on the buttons, it has these anchors on it. And this is a really, really nice brand. Uh, so I was happy to find that it has three pockets on the front. It has two at the bottom and then it has this little one right here on the chest. And yeah, so it's really chunky and oversized and I like this a lot. And yeah, so that is it you guys for my thrifting haul. This is stuff that I have been holding for over two weeks. Um, I, whenever I'm in the area of a thrift store, if I stop, if I see a boutique that I've never been to, I'll just stop and run in. If I find one piece or two pieces, then I'll pick it up. And then I just wait until stuff accumulates before I take pictures and post them on my Poshmark. So that is it for this thrift haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, I'm not a professional Poshmark seller. I know a lot of you like to ask me questions about it. I'm new at this just like you guys are. I'm uh, Right now, I'm doing trial and error. And um, yeah, but if I can answer any of your questions, you can email me like most of you have already done. <laughs> and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. So thank you guys all for watching. Check down below for the link to my Poshmark closet in case you want to look at what I have in there. I'd appreciate that. And when you sign up using my link, I think you get $5 and then I get $5 so we can shop together. <laughs> but that's it. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye you guys.